the lambkin. Small, soft, and one of the world's rarest cats. Have you seen a lambkin? Well, I haven't either. If you see a lambkin, you're lucky. It's quite rare. That's right, not many know this little cat's charms. Because the lambkin, also known as the Nanus Rex, is such a new breed that it's considered experimental and not recognized by some cat associations. The breed is still not quite under wraps, but certainly under development. In fact, there are only a few dozen known lambkins in the world. Compare that to millions of Persians. I think part of the reason that some people really like to have a very rare cat in their lives is because they like to have the standout cat on the block. Stand out for sure. While the exact dates of the lambkin's origins are unclear, there's no doubting their sweetness. A cross between the Selkirk Rex and the Munchkin, this makes the lambkin a dwarf breed with an easygoing personality. They're not easily rattled, and uh, they're just very affectionate. And the name lambkin, that's no accident. It literally means small lamb. Their plush curly coat is one of their most recognizable features. The lambkin looks like it might be wearing like a full wool coat, but it actually is very soft, more like a stuffed animal. The coat is curly, it sort of looks like a cat in sheep's clothing. Another hallmark, a long fluffy tail that tapers to a rounded tip. Big long tail on a little cat body. You can also tell a lambkin by its legs. These cats have shorter legs and longer bodies, which comes from the munchkin in them, which is a genetic mutation called achondroplasia, or dwarfism. This mutation stunts the growth of the leg bones and causes them to bow slightly, leaving the lambkin with shorter, thicker legs than long-legged cats. The proportion of the paws, tail, spine, and skull are not affected. They're perfectly healthy, they're just short. Breeding for dwarfism is not without controversy. Many argue that it's cruel to breed a cat with a genetic mutation just because there is a demand for a breed. The most important thing is to make sure that these animals that were originally developed from a mutation are healthy enough that they don't have severe back problems, that they are mobile. And it all adds up to perfection. Exactly what cat lover Yulia was looking for. I'm totally a cat person. Cats are my favorite animals. They're fun to interact with and fun to watch. The perfect image of the cat that I imagine in my head is sort of Persian looking, but much smaller. Just a little tiny fluff ball on short little legs with a doll face. Looking to bring that image to life, Yulia, an experienced hobby breeder who owns a variety of cats, crossed her beloved Selkirk Rex with her munchkin. And the result? A lambkin. I have three lambkins living with me right now. Arvin is my first baby goat. Then I have Pafnati. He's the man of the house. And then I have Angel. Angel is the youngest. He is the most playful. They are my cuddle buddies, and they're just such a pleasure to have around. They make a house a home. And lambkins are so rare that only a handful of people, like Yulia, know their unique charms. <laughs> to me, the lambkins are very different from any other cat. They look like little curly angels or tiny lambs. Their personality is also just as amazing to match their looks. they playful, outgoing, fun. You could totally tell that it's not your average domestic cat. Unique, yes, but in many ways, just like any other furry feline. Grooming them isn't much different from any other long-haired cat. They need regular brushing. Yulia's cats stay strictly indoors and get lots of love and attention from Yulia and the neighborhood kids. But today they're going on an adventure. It's their annual visit to the vet. How are the kitties today? First up, Angel. Do you want a physical today? Come here. This is a real treat for the vet, because lambkins are so rare. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. He's purring. I treat thousands of cats. He was the first lambkin I ever met. He's got nice, bright eyes. He's got beautiful, clean teeth. Next oh, in is Arvin. You at this little thing. How's your belly? And finally, the man of the house, Puff Naughty. He moves well. He doesn't have any pain or discomfort when he moves, which is really important with the dwarf breeds. What did Dr. Springer think after meeting these rare lambkins?
I think everybody would want one if they met one. If you're considering adopting a lambkin, keep these things in mind. Lambkins are hard to find. Be sure to seek out a reputable breeder. When it comes to health, lambkins are generally healthy, but as a dwarf breed, they may be prone to genetic problems. Curvy spines and chests that aren't properly formed. Only a reputable breeder will avoid inbreeding, which can lead to health issues. Grooming the curly cuties is important if you want to avoid a bad hair day. The lambkin coat is very curly, and those curls tend to stick together. So you're going to want to brush your lambkin out every other day to make sure it doesn't get matted, and you can go ahead and bathe as needed. And these little lambs are great with families. Tolerant, loving, and friendly, they get along with everyone. So in general, the lambkin is a healthy breed, but watch for genetic issues related to dwarfism. They'll need regular brushing and trimming to keep their coats looking their best. A lambkin makes a fabulous family feline. Just thinking of them makes me smile. When Cats 101 comes back, why more and more cats go out on the prowl to steal? Teeth marks here, teeth marks here. So we know it's text doing the dirty work. Cats, they can be cute and cuddly, and sometimes devilish. These felines are known as kleptocats, and they patrol our streets looking for tidbits to bring home. It's like the kitty cat mafia. They have like a whole little plan. They're going out to the neighbors, getting stuff, bringing it back. So what is a kleptocat exactly? Well, here's the definition. Cats have a natural behavior. They go out and they get prey items and bring them back to the nest. So when that goes awry, you can end up with a sort of feline equivalent of hoarding. Being a klepto cat is not a sickness. Is it weird? <laughs> yeah. So then, why do they do it? When a cat fixates on a particular item, there could be an obsessive or compulsive component to the behavior. For years, klepto cat larceny was shrouded in darkness. But with modern technology, we are catching them and finding out just how nefarious these felines can be. One of the most famous klepto cats is Dusty from San Mateo, California. He's the cat with a fetish for, well, pretty much everything. He's collected towels, sponges, a dinosaur, even underwear. And we're not talking about just a few items. Dusty's secret stash adds up to over 600 stolen goodies. John Fulton, host of Must Love Cats, helped catch Dusty red-handed. No one had ever gotten footage of Dusty taking anything. So John set up an infrared camera, and voila. <laughs> Is that your bra? That's not your bra. No, not mine. Okay. That's a big old bra for that cat. It's like triple D. I love this cat, Dusty, but what is he doing with a bra? But Dusty's just the tip of the iceberg. There are more kleptos out there. There's Jack in Idaho who likes to steal sweatshirts. Houdini from Seattle, who steals gloves. Willow in New York likes to burglarize during the daytime. Sammy in Willow Bridge, Texas, stole an entire throw rug. And Midnight in Simi Valley, California, ran off with a wrapped Christmas gift. And it's not just a US cat epidemic. Kleptos are stealing all over the world. Frankie, the black tomcat from Swindon, England, has a soft spot for soft animal toys. Somebody's bought all these toys for their pet, and uh, they now don't have any. <laughs> They're all here. But Frankie has quite a stash. Basically, he goes out for a prowl and comes back through his cat door and plops his toys down. And then there's Speedy from Switzerland. He was also bored catching mice. For over three years, he has been combing the neighborhood and has brought back over 100 items. His owners have even posted signs warning neighbors. But Speedy's tastes are changing. He now favors underwear. Maybe it's time to get that cat burglar some counseling. When we come back, find out why klepto cats go for undies. In the kitty cat world, it's a wide-sweeping phenomenon, klepto cats. They steal towels, gloves, toys, even underwear. 
But cats going for undies and socks isn't really that unusual. In fact, Oscar, who lives in England, has a preference for ladies' underwear. Ladies' underwear? And Oscar's risque robberies have no doubt left his proper British parents flummoxed. We assumed he got them from the students who live nearby. But then one day he brought home children's underwear as well. So we really began to worry. The couple even notified the police of the cat's swiping habits. It's been in the local paper, it's been um, on television, and uh, I would have thought that if there's anybody there who uh, has owned some of this stuff, they would have been on to us by now. So they just went from mice to underpants. They're still bringing you a present. But it's not just the unmentionable software. Tex from Plymouth, Massachusetts goes for hardware the nuts and bolts kind. One day, there was a bag of screws. The next day, there was a bag of nuts. And the next day, I had the instruction booklet on how to put together a shed. Lo and behold, Mary Ann's neighbor, Joseph Lopez, was trying to build a shed. Joe thought it was the neighborhood kids stealing his stuff. As a last resort, I thought kids were coming and stealing all my stuff, so I made this sign, I'm watching you, to try to keep them out but the stuff to continue to keep missing because apparently cats don't read. But Tex doesn't just go for nuts and bolts. This is Tex's toy box, and here are some things that he brought home. He brought some um, watering cans from the neighbors. Uh, I have a map that he brought home. He probably wants to go on a vacation, and he even cares about the dog. He brings home dog toys, too. He brought this home one night, and here's proof that it was Tex who brought it home. Teeth marks here, teeth marks here, and there's some over here, and a little bit right there. So we know it's Tex doing the dirty work. But the Collins wanted to catch Tex on video. And look, there's the little cat burglar with a plush toy in his mouth. Tex isn't just a thief, so to speak. He's got a heart of gold. After all, he's cleaning up the neighborhood, too. I was making my daily trip around the house to see what Tex brought home. And there was a baggie and, like, a little pipe inside. And I opened it and could smell that it was pot. And, of course, had to wake up my husband and tell him that Tex just brought a bag of pot home. So that was pretty funny. So what should you do when you have a cat like this? There are things that we can do by advising owners to make sure their cats actually have exercise. So many people don't realize that you have to exercise cats, not just dogs. Uh, and you can make them work for their food using food puzzles, which is mentally occupying. Whether it's boredom or an anxiety compulsion, pay close attention, because your kitty is just trying to tell you he loves you. So to recap, the Dwelf is a miniature cat that some people think looks like Yoda from Star Wars. Its three distinctive features are short legs, curly ears, and almost no fur. The Chowsey is a hybrid breed that is part domestic and part wild. A big cat, they often have digestive issues and require a diet of strictly meat. The Carillion Bobtail is a natural breed from islands in the Pacific. Islanders claim these cats hunted like wolves. They have a naturally bobbed tail. The Burmilla is a relatively new breed that is a cross between a Burmese and a chinchilla. Their striking features include the look of eyeliner around their mouth and eyes. The Lambkin is another cross breed that results from the mating of a tiny munchkin with a Selkirk Rex. The result, a miniature breed with short legs and a luxurious wavy coat. Remember, all cats are individuals and may not adhere to breed standards. If you're thinking of adopting a cat, do your homework and check out your local shelter or go to animalplanet.com backslash cats101 and choose your next furry friend wisely.